It is uh, Monday, May 31st. May 31st, I think. Anyway, it's Memorial Day, Monday, and um, we're about to head out for a little walk. And I'm going to try vlogging a little bit with the Sony RX0 Mark II. And uh, I'm going to try shooting in the Cine 2 profile. Um, I think it looks pretty decent. We'll see. Uh, I find that my custom S-Log 2 profile on the Sony RX0 Mark II doesn't look as good as it does on my uh, Sony A6400. It seems to lean very heavily magenta even though I changed the color phase to minus 2. Um, I mean it still gives me the image I need for what I got this camera for but in terms of everyday vlogging I just find that the colors are a bit off so um, that's it the screen is shut off uh, I can't see myself anymore but uh, yeah it is uh, June 1st 2021 and it's about 5 p.m. I just uh, finished a day in the operating room and then about to head home so uh, I'm still trying this vlogging thing on the RX0 Mark II and uh, hopefully it, it works. It looks really dark. I don't know. Uh, one thing I've noticed is that the um, stabilization is not bad. The audio is also not bad. But uh, the auto white balance seems to be a real problem causing the colors to look real weird. It is uh, June 2nd, 2021. I think it's about 6 p.m. Yeah, quarter past six. And uh, I just finished at work, heading home. I had an afternoon clinic. Oof, I'm a little bit blown, overblown. It's too bright. Still a little bit too bright. I'm on uh, Cine 2 with a 1 100th of a second shutter speed, f4. And uh, the ISO is at 125, it can't go any lower. So this footage is a little bit too overblown, but once I step in the car, it should get way a lot darker. So I am uh, using the Evaluative metering mode and I'm using auto white balance, but I've dialed in a little bit of a correction uh, A1 G1 um, I just find that the white balance on this camera isn't very good. So hopefully the colors look a little bit better now All right, let's head home All right, I'm home Oh, the cat's squeaking So yeah, I shot a um a little promo video thing for the library. I use the uh, RX0 Mark II, which is what I'm holding in front of me right now. I use that as my main A cam. And the reason for that was because this is a wide angle uh, camera and, and lens. And, um, and uh, so I needed the A6400 as a sort of uh, tele and uh, so I, I put on the the uh, kit zoom in order to get that sort of tele shot with the a6400 um, and um, so I used the RX0 Mark II for my A cam. I wanted to record some BTS footage using the Insta360 Go but I just didn't really have time to set that up. The uh, screen on this thing kept shutting off and um, I couldn't monitor the video recording uh, during the shoot, which is kind of a you know, problem. And I tried to connect it using Wi-Fi to my iPad using the Imaging Edge app, but that doesn't work if you're shooting in 4K. The camera is unable to turn on its Wi-Fi antenna if it's uh, doing 4K. Uh, so if you 
you switch back to 1080p, bam, the Wi-Fi is back on. So a little bit of a, uh, idiosyncrasy there, a bit of a limitation there. Um, so yeah. All right, I think I'm going to fix myself some dinner. All right, it is Thursday, June 3rd, 2021, and it's about quarter to 7 a.m. I'm back at work. Um, I'm operating today. And uh, yeah, I think this is going to be the most boring vlog I've ever recorded. You know, I've been trying to test out the RX Zero Mark II, but it's just been so busy that uh, this vlog is entirely composed of me just walking <laughs> back and forth from work. Um, yeah, like yesterday, I just I, I left work at about 6 p.m., you know, so I got home, I ate dinner, and there was uh, a online webinar uh, that went from 7 until 8, and then I had to work on my alumni day presentation from about 8 to 9, and uh, yeah, that was uh, that was my entire night. And then now I'm back again to start it all over. So um, anyway, uh, the screen just shut off. All right, I'm gonna head to the OR. All right, it is currently June third, twenty twenty one, about five p.m. and uh, I'm about to head home. So uh, today was an OR day for me but uh, I had one of my bigger cases uh, get cancelled and so um, I actually kind of sat around waiting to see if that case would go um, but yeah I still managed to fill about eight hours worth of my day with just like paperwork um, you know making patient phone calls and, and signing charts and also uh, uh, sort of uh, preparing information for the uh, alumni day um, conference that's coming up. Uh, like I mentioned before, I am presenting the sort of uh, interesting or, or complex cases um, uh, for that conference. And um, so yeah, I spent a lot of time just uh, uh, gathering all the clinical info uh, necessary. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm probably going to head home and uh, have some dinner and probably work on that presentation some more. Alright, it is Friday, June 4th, 2021. It's about a quarter to 6 p.m. and uh, I'm here in the, at the office I had an absolutely massive clinic day going nonstop from 8 a.m. until about 5 p.m. And um, yeah, uh, I'm about to head home. Um, none of my charts are done, so I have a, a fun weekend of charting to look forward to. And uh, also because my case yesterday never ended up going, I'm planning on doing that case tomorrow, on Saturday. So I'll be uh, working on the weekend even while not on call. Uh, so this has kind of been a bit of a disaster week, but um, what can you do? My OR times are completely spoken for this coming week, so I have no no other way of trying to get that case on and so um, I'm just gonna have to work the weekend all right I think I'm gonna head home now all right it is June 5th 2021 it's a Saturday and uh, it's about quarter to 11 a.m. and uh, I've been up for a little while uh, doing some uh, charting type paperwork. Uh, I was sitting at this desk with uh, this view. Not bad. Um, and uh, well, I, I'm not on call this weekend, but because I had that case on Thursday get canceled, I'm hoping to 
get to it this weekend. So I'm sort of volunteering to work on the weekend. And as a result, I'm wearing my pager and I can't get very far from home <laughs> or, or, or from the hospital because I can be called in at any time to do that case. There's the cat. I'm probably going to just stick around and uh, do some more paperwork. Uh, I've got a bunch of charts to do. Um, I still have to finish up my uh, presentation for the Alumni Day uh, conference coming up. Oh yeah, I have a research meeting on uh, Sunday night. So yeah. So Charlotte's been keeping her uh, Fuji XC200 kit lens up here in the bookshelf. I think I'm gonna take it upstairs and put it in the um, in my uh, closet with all the other camera equipment. This seems like you know the right thing to do to have all that stuff together. So I'm gonna take this upstairs. You know, there it is. You can see a bunch of camera equipment there, including the uh, XT200. There's my A6400. My uh, Alpha 64 more or less lives at work now. So on the Fuji XT200 is the uh, 35mm f2. This is that 15 to 45 uh, kit lens, XT kit lens. So I'm going to Put it right there with the rest of the with the rest of the lenses there. So I've been vlogging on the Sony RX0 Mark II for the past week. I haven't done anything super exciting, sorry about that, but uh, uh, I wonder how it looks. I find that, you know, sure it's a prime lens, so it's uh, it's a single focal length, but you know, I can do digital zooms like this, right? But on the other side, you know, even with prime lenses, you, you can still get some different looks by just having the camera at various distances. But with this guy, I don't feel like I can do that. And so I think all the shots look kind of samey because I more or less have to be about the same distance away all the time, namely, an arm's length away. The reason for that is because it doesn't have continuous autofocus. So I have to once in a while press the, or half press the shutter button so that it will reacquire focus. I can't say, you know, to set it down like this and then walk away and expect to be in focus. I mean, I suppose I could do that, but yeah. Um, so yeah, you know, I can't really get that far away. Uh, what's more, uh, I'm, I've not used a external mic. There's no lapel mic. Um, I'm just using the onboard mic on the RX0 Mark II, which means that, uh, you know, the distances change from shot to shot. The audio is going to sound different from shot to shot as well, which is kind of annoying as a viewer. So, yeah, I've more or less been keeping it at about an arm's length away. Now, one thing that I am very impressed with so far looking at my uh, footage is that the stabilization is actually pretty decent. It's not perfect, of course. Would I prefer it to be steadier? Yes, but um, uh, it's definitely uh, steady enough. It's not quite so bad as my 6400. I would say it's watchable. Um, and because it is on this sort of little vlogging handle, uh, it's very convenient. Um, it, you know, it, it deploys as a tripod so I can set it down uh, very easily. It's small, so it's pocketable and it's very light. And the handle has uh, buttons on it so that I can do, you know, zooms and I can half press that shutter button to reacquire focus. 
So it's got all these convenience factors going for it, um, uh, even though it's not the most stable. I have considered getting the sort of mount adapter for my gimbal, which would make this thing way more stable and also obviously give the vlog a bit of a better uh, uh, image quality than had I just mounted my phone. But you know that does add some uh, additional complexity. I don't love carrying around gimbals because they flop around. Uh, it has a battery, so it's heavier, and they have to turn it on and, and stuff. So, that's, so I don't know. One of these days, I'll probably get it, uh, just because I would love to see how this footage would look super stable, um, and uh, I think it, I think it would look great. It's just a, a bit of a hassle. That's all. The mount adapter isn't even that expensive, so it's kind of hard to pass that up. Okay, well anyway, I'm gonna make myself uh, another decaf coffee here and head back to work. get ready. So that's the pile of charts that I have to do. Uh, this is the pile of charts from one day's worth of clinic that I gotta tackle. It's gonna be a working weekend that's for sure. All right it is uh, about 12 30 p.m. now and um, as you can see I'm working on the uh, complex cases um, presentation for alumni day and uh, I've finished the, the, the sort of major uh, uh, set of cases uh, about max or reconstruction I've finished that portion of the presentation so um, so that's good <laughs> I would say I'm about halfway done because uh, there's another topic I want to cover, um, and that's a that's a whole thing on it in and of itself. But I'm gonna go have some lunch now. June 6, 2021. It's about quarter to 8 p.m. I just finished um, some work. I had a research meeting, I reviewed a manuscript um, that, that we submitted, um, and um, had some dinner. And uh, there's still a little bit of light out. So I think I'm going to go for a quick little bike ride um, just uh, for a little bit of exercise and then I'll probably be back uh, to do a little bit more work in preparation for uh, tomorrow's case and that will be it. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this vlog. I'll see you in the next one.
you shake it a little bit? No, it's freaking. I don't want to disturb it. <laughs> I see it breathing. Okay, she's coming out with a form, man. 